Hey guys, I'm back here, and this is going to be a video talking about the new Druid patch notes, my new video, and some other stuff happening with me and this channel, and blah blah blah, whatever. I'm going to do it in one take, so hopefully it doesn't come out too bad. I uh, don't really feel like editing today. But anyway, uh, first thing of business is my new video on Shinima Realm, the Rated BG Dream Team 2. It's me, Swifty, Sacred Heels, uh, I think, I don't know if Mercator was in there, but uh, go check it out. It's, it's a pretty fun video. Uh, it's sort of old, but it should be still entertaining. And uh, next order of business, uh, which was the main reason I made this video in the first place, is uh, new patch notes. We're getting the shit buffed out of us. It's going to be pretty pretty sweet. And uh, I got them all written down, so I'm just going to read them off. Uh, first thing is a nerf, uh, strength nerf. We're not going to get two attack power for uh, each strength. It's just going to be one attack power per strength. And this doesn't really affect us. Uh, the only thing this could affect you on is if you were using the 50 strength enchant to your gloves, which was, I think, a little bit better damage than the 65 mastery, but uh, I think I use 65 mastery anyway, so whatever. Uh, next change is Entangling Roots and Nature's Grasp don't do damage anymore. Um, this isn't a, really a nerf, uh, this is kind of a buff because uh, it kind of sucks when, if you're playing like with a mage... Um, you can poly someone and they can melee at the same time and actually break their own poly with nature's grasp so uh... that's kind of a nice change because breaking polys with something unintentional kind of sucks and uh... next another buff is uh... ferocious bite is up fifteen percent and the damage uh... or the cost of it is reduced to twenty five energy and uh... you can use twenty five more energy to increase the damage by an extra one hundred percent and uh... oh yeah it also heals it heals uh... Let's see here, I wrote that down somewhere else. Uh, yeah, Ferocious Bite heals 2% every 10 energy used. So you can get a 10% heal if you use a full 50 energy Ferocious Bite. So that's going to be pretty sweet. Um, I don't really know where they're going with that. Uh, that's kind of an interesting change. And, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm all for it, definitely. Because uh, staying aggressive while keeping yourself up, that's 90% of being successful as a Feral Druid, is staying aggressive because... The best defense for us is a good offense, and having that built into a really offensive ability is pretty awesome. Uh, next up is Mangle. Uh, they're increasing. God damn it, I dropped my shit. <laughs> uh, Mangle is going up 530% uh, damage, up from 460, uh, aka more damage. Awesome. Uh, same thing with Ravage. Ravage is going up uh, to 975% damage, up from 850. Again, awesome, more damage. Uh, Shred up. 520 from 450, more damage. Uh, Glyph of Berserk now increases our Berserk by 10 seconds, up from 5. This is pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know why they did this, but I'm not going to complain. I, I think they did this because a lot of people were bitching that Berserk wasn't really that epic of a cooldown for a 3 minute cooldown. Um, I mean, I didn't have problems with it, whatever. But 5% uh, more time on Berserk, that's, uh, or not 5%, 5 more seconds on Berserk is going to be awesome. That's that's going to be insane. I mean, yeah, I already force a lot of cooldowns to Berserk anyway. That's why I use Berserk at the start of uh, almost every game I play. I use Berserk at the start. Just to force Trinkets, cooldowns, and fuck. That's going to be awesome. Uh, Alright, next, um, we already went over Ferocious Bite. Uh, Frenzied Region is getting nerfed. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Uh, th this whole these these whole patch notes are kind of ass backwards for PvP, but uh, I'll get I'll cover that later. But anyway, frenzied region is going down 15%. Uh, it usually increases your health by 30%. It's going down to 15%. Um, not sure why. Um, I'm not sure if it's to counteract these buffs that we're getting for PvP, but apparently bear tanks aren't even good. So I'm not really sure what the hell's going on there. And. Uh, our survivability really isn't the greatest either, but I'm not really too butthurt about this nerf. I've always been, uh, I don't really like, um, using bear form to turtle up that much. Uh, Frenzied Region, I, I do use Frenzied Region. I mean, that nerf's gonna suck, but it's not, I'm not gonna cry about it, because I like to kite in cat form more than go bear form. Like, if you look at my videos, I'm much more likely, if I'm low, to run and just kite around the map. Uh, it's kind of just like season 8. I think I'm still playing in Season 8 because we didn't have... Like, Bear Form was just not a defensive option in Season 8. I think that's why I kite so much. Uh, that's not... I'm not saying that that's the best thing you should do, or... I mean, I, there's probably... I probably should go Bear Form more than I do right now, but 
again, I, I just like the Kite and Cat form because it keeps your damage up, and I feel like as a Feral Druid, the best defense is an offense, and you want to get the other team playing defensively as soon as possible. And that kind of explains my play style, why, uh, why I really don't go defensive unless I've already used Bark Skin, Wall, uh, pretty much everything. Just because once you get the other team playing defensive as a Feral Druid, they're very rarely going to come back from that. So uh, that's what I really focus on. And uh, anyway, um, this is something else I wrote down and something that's kind of frustrating. Now, what, I was not expecting these buffs uh, at all, really. I, I mean... From a PvP standpoint, I was, but since I started doing raiding, I did understand where these buffs were coming coming from because Feral Druids do suck in raids right now, uh, DPS-wise. We, um, one of the Feral Druids, Landador in my guild, says we're down like 25%, like other DPS do 25% more damage than we do, so I guess that explains these buffs. And again, I've said this since the start, uh, this is a PvE game. It, it's got PvP in it. Um, that's just how it is. Uh, this... You know, 90% of people who play this game do PvE, so obviously these are PvE changes, and that's probably why this game isn't very balanced, is because of PvE. But uh, anyway, I don't know if Blizzard ever would watch this, or I, I don't know. They've started doing this, but they need to do it more, and uh, fucking drop my shit again. Uh, anyway, what my idea was is they've already started doing this with like... Uh, CC durations, uh, Polymorph doesn't last a minute in PvP, obviously, but they need to just have totally different coefficients for each ability in PvE and PvP. Have, uh, have uh, Frostbull do X amount of damage in Heroics and Raids, outside of Heroics and Raids, and in Arenas it'll do a different amount. Uh, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying Frostbull is bad or overpowered or anything, but just as an example, you know, why try to have one magic number for both uh, categories. Why not have one for each? But uh, they'll never do that because uh, casual players they won't understand why their frostbolt sucks in PvP or it's really amazing in PvP and it's not good in raids. So they're not going to do that. But I wish they would. That would fix a lot of these problems. Um, and it's pretty frustrating. And lastly, with these new uh, the particular way that these uh, damage increases are their weapon damage. So this is going to make Unheated Warning, which uh, when it procs, it gives you more weapon damage. This is going to be a just retardedly overpowered trinket for Feral Druids. It already is right now. And when you have a weapon, um, when you have that thing proc, you just start hitting like literally like 10k harder. Like whatever it is, it's, it's nuts. And the fact that these are percent damage, uh, they're weapon damage percentages... So when that thing procs, you're going to have a higher percent, so 530% of your mangle is going to be obviously more if you have more weapon damage when the thing procs, so that's just going to be nuts. Our burst is going to be uh, retarded, along with our sustained damage, because they're, they're making Ferocious Bite not cost as much energy. That heal is going to be interesting on how that works. I don't know. This is going to be a crazy patch. Uh, Holy Paladins are getting buffed. Kitty Cleave is going to be awesome. Uh, we hit 2401 yesterday, and I mean it's 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 kind of difficult, uh, especially with all these frost DK teams. Frost DKs are getting nerfed, so fuck yes. And uh, yeah, I don't know how nerfed they're getting, but I've heard they're getting nerfed. I haven't looked at the patch notes, but uh, so they're getting nerfed a little bit that I know of. Uh, Holy Paladins getting buffed. That's a big part of why Kitty Cleave with a Paladin sucks, is because Paladins suck, and. Uh, Running Kitty Cleave with a Paladin when Paladins are viable is much better than with a Shaman or a Dis Priest. I know right now that Kitty Cleave with a Dis Priest or a Shaman is much better, uh, but that's just because Paladins are so unbelievably bad that that's just how it is. But uh, Paladins just sync up better with the comp. You got Freedom, they're more of a defensive healer, and really with Kitty Cleave, if the Warrior and the Feral Druid can stay aggressive and stay on something, it's over because we're just going to do. A stupid amount of damage, and uh, this next patch will be doing even more damage. So, uh, again, I don't think these patch notes were the best way to go about it uh, to get Feral Druids back in the game, but these are PvE changes uh, that will affect PvP obviously a lot. And uh, you know, I would have I would have rather had some more defensive options. You know, dying to casters and hunters really sucks. Uh, we don't really have any defenses against them that are really that viable, and uh, I would have rather had that then more damage, but more damage is cool, and uh, the best defense is an offense, in my opinion, when it comes to a Feral Druid, so, yeah. And, uh, you know, sorry for rambling, but this is just uh, 
uncut vlog. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah.